Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. How cute is this? These are our five inch by eight inch cellophane bags. That is, oh, what is that in metric? 20.3 by 5.1, I couldn't think. So basically five centimeters by 20 centimeters. So they're double width. We used to have the very long skinny ones that are terribly, terribly popular, retired them. But these are just as gorgeous. And look, I've got more chocolate foil eggs in them. I'm going to put chocolate foil eggs in everything. Um, they are very cute. They are, they do, however, we discover this afterwards. When they've been sat like that for a while, they do sink. So stuff them well full, unless you're prepared to give them out like that. Um, but yeah, super cute. I'm going to make one now. Dead quick. This is just one of those really sweet, quick projects that you can make when you go, oh, I've got my niece and nephew coming over and it's Easter and I ought to give them something and you haven't got anything make them some of these right I like to do the colour coordination thing and I was planning on doing that and then I had left on my desk these and without thinking I kind of maybe ate a few of them and I maybe ate more of the purple than I probably ought to have done so I haven't really got very many purple ones left so we're going for a mixed bag this time um, and yeah these are great you can pick them up in supermarkets pound shops i can't get them in um yeah i enjoyed them they were very nice they are solid milk chocolate and they are not hollow these eggs very yummy really quite nice chocolate as well actually um so i'm going to shake them down a bit which is what i didn't do with oh look i'm going to keep that one out for me that'll be my treat so there we go a little bit of the back the black baker's twine can't speak today and then wrap it around. Then we're going to do a little bit of die cutting because that bunny is too cute to stamp straight on the circle and actually a bit too big. Um, and looks great. Die cut out and punched out and set up. Very, very sweet. So look, we've got a mixed colour bag. That's my one as well. Oh no. It's four. It's going to have to be one of my boys. Right. So I went for silver glimmer paper with the blue, red with the red and gold with the gold. So I'm going with the dazzling diamonds with um the multicolored one i need my punches to... so so disorganized today i've got my punches prepped but ready for another project so let me just grab them there's my two inch circle and i want my one and three quarter oh i had it there in my hand so two inch circle on the glimmer paper one and three quarters on the white and then to put them back so that I don't lose them for the next video. It's actually technically not the next that you're going to see, but this next one I'm filming. So that'll just sit over there. And then on this bit here, I have got my basic black ink and I've got my basket builder, basket bunch stamp set, which goes with the basket builder framelits. Now you can get them on a bundle, so you get 10% discount. You can buy them independently of one another, but you know, buy them in a bundle, it's cheaper. And it comes with all sorts of bits, so you can, you can punch out Sorry, you can die cut out your basket, the handle, that bunny, the chicks, the carrot, the Easter eggs, all of it. So I'm going with the bunny. It's so cute. I love it. So, um, oh, I didn't get the stamp out. <laughs> There's a little bunny. It's too cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, which block am I using? I'm using a B block. On there. If you haven't seen this, basic black archival ink is a fabric pad, so not foam. So you do a twist method. You twist, tap, tap, tap to get very inky. And then down on there. I'm just going to waft that a bit because I made this mistake with one of them that it doesn't dry quite as fast. Um, and while I do that, I'm going to get out. I've got the Wisteria Wonder marker, but I forgot to get the pink out for bunny's ears so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have a little little wisteria wonder bow tie see i planned to do lilac didn't happen i ate too many didn't i a little pink inside of the ears and then i've got over here because you do need to use your magnetic platform for this um magnetic platform cutting mat stamped image and then the bunny over the top and I'm hoping I'm not going to smudge this which is as I said what I did with one of the others when you line it up to fit 
cutting plates on the top. I'm really, I'm going to knock, I've got a pot on my, a little metal pot. I'm knocking it off. And then the big shot. And that whole lot through. I've just sent the baker twine on the floor. It's not my day today, is it? Everything is on the floor. Oh, I can't pick up the baker's twine. I'll end up taking out the tripod. Mm -hmm. Let's move all those out of the way. And there's my little bunny. I'm going to put that away before I lose it. dimensionals on the back of there. Where have they gone? Actually I think just one on there. I'll stick a couple on here. Fast fuse but only on one lower part. Um, you don't want to put glue all over it. Just want it on the lower part because only the lower part is going to stick to the top of your cellophane bag. So just open it out again so you get a nice flat bit, stick it on, bunny on, you could put sentiments and stuff if you wanted to take it further but seriously this is for you've got 20 minutes and your niece is coming to visit or your nephew or your best friend's coming over with the children and you haven't got easter eggs for them and you know they're going to come with easter eggs for your children. Insta gift. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, hope to speak to you very soon, bye.